Welcome to the first in our videos on the introduction to Illustrator. In this video, we're going to be talking a little bit about what Illustrator is, specifically the difference between vector illustrations and bitmap graphics. Illustrator is primarily a vector illustration program, meaning that it creates vector files. So what is the difference between a vector file and a raster file? Well, let's start by defining what those two are. We're going to actually look first at a raster image. So I'm going to open up a photograph here of a bee on a flower. Now, this is a raster image. Raster images are the type of images that you are probably most familiar with uh, in just your daily use. Raster images are what digital cameras create. Raster images are the type of images that you see on the internet. Um, raster images are, are generally the, the ones that are all around us most of the time. Now, the way that a raster image is created, another word for raster image is a bitmap image. And a bitmap means that it's made up of a map of all these little bits. The bits are also referred to as pixels. So if I look at this photograph here of this bee on this flower, it looks very realistic to me. It looks very smooth, very pristine, and I can see all the different gradients of color and details in this particular image. Now, if I zoom in, this is a very high resolution image. We're going to talk about resolution in a minute. You'll see I zoom in a little bit and it doesn't really make much of a difference. But the further I zoom, pretty soon things start to look a little bit fuzzier. And eventually it goes beyond fuzzy. And what I start seeing are the individual pixels themselves. So if I get to a certain level of magnification, let's go down to kind of a, a brighter color here where we'll be able to see this a little better. You can see that I'm starting to see all these little squares, all these little squares of color. These squares are the individual pixels or the individual bits that are making up this image. You'll see that every single square has its own color. It's not a gradient of color. It's a very specific swatch of color that is placed in exactly the right place so that all together, when these squares are small enough, our eyes will see the, the image that we are intending to be seen. So if I zoom out, these start getting smaller and smaller and smaller. And if I'm working with something that has enough of them, they get small enough to where I can't see them anymore with my naked eye and I see what looks like a perfect picture. Okay, so that is a raster image. That is a bitmap image, and that is the images that you're going to be dealing with when you're taking pictures, again, with a digital camera or when you're working with Photoshop uh, in most cases. Now, raster images have some very significant advantages, and they also have some disadvantages. One of the advantages of raster images is that they can create very photorealistic images very easily because of the fact that there's so many different pixels of color uh, also small and able to be seen with our eye. One of the disadvantages of raster images is that they are resolution dependent. And what that means is that you can't create a raster image that was intent that it originally intended to be like say an 8 by 10 and then later on say I'm going to make this much much bigger I'm going to make it the size of a billboard and I'm going to use it again because what happens is those individual pixels will get big enough to where you can't see them, where it's not blending very well anymore and you can actually see the individual pixels, okay? So when you're working with raster image, you generally have a very specific size and resolution in place from the very beginning. For example, when you're printing an image, the default resolution or how many pixels are gonna be in it is 300 PPI. Now you'll hear resolution quite often referred to as PPI, that stands for pixels per inch, okay? And when you're printing, you'll sometimes hear it as DPI, which is dots per inch. So when I'm printing something, I would set it up and say, I want in every single inch of this image, I want to have 300 pixels. Now, if I was using it on the internet, I don't need quite as many pixels in order for it to look good. So the, the default resolution for web-based images is 72 PPI. Okay, so 300 PPI for print, 72 PPI for web. So if when I'm calculating this, when I'm creating my raster image, I'll say, okay, well, I know that I need this to be uh, 8 by 10, 8 inches by 10 inches, and I know I need it to have 300 pixels per inch. So therefore, the computer program will create it with exactly enough pixels to have 300 pixels per inch in an 8 by 10 print. So if I then make that bigger, it's going to look 
not very good. If I make it a little bigger, it's going to look not very good. If I look at it much bigger, it's going to look terrible. If I make it smaller even, it starts to lose some detail because it doesn't know exactly which pixels to get rid of in order to make it smaller. Okay, so that is raster images.